good morning to all of you on the lecture program organized by department of persian ss college hailakandi i offer my heartfelt thanks to all firstly it is a chance of get together secondly it gives a good counseling regarding the college since its inception which inspired us for future course of action so my topic is that the development of persian language literature and culture a study with special reference to assam so we know that persian is one of the sweetest language in the world and its literature especially the medieval persian literature are very much rich poets like rudoki firdousi saadi amar khayyam hafiz maulana jalaluddin rumi abdur rahman jami malik ushwara bahar and iras mirza are the product of this literature and also it is known to us that persian language helps to cultivate the culture of a particular state is region and approved in general assam is enriched with its cultural heritage since pre aryan periods with some regional or national language we shall not be easily capable to acquaint assam to the world community out of national or international language persian is one of the prominent language by which we can deeply cultivate our multiple culture to the world community through research works in different fields and also we know once a time persian was the official language of india once a time in the period of mughal there are so many art and architecture we have written during that period and also india was one of the most important centers of persian scholarship not only in various forms and styles of persian poetry and fine arts but also in historiography religious science mystical literature medicine astronomy rhetoric possodi judicial and revenue decrees interpretation of dream and other branches of learning it may be noted that in areas such as lexicography biography and grammatical studies indian scholars make much more valuable contributions and also my all my junior friends i am sorry to inform you that we know that or uh, and also you know very well assam university shilchar which is a central and well established educational institution but does not have post graduate department of this language resulting students of barakbelis to migrate to other university for higher education there are other student also who could not continue their education due to financial problem involved for going outside if our student get facilities to continue higher education uh, that is not possible in guwahati university or any other state universities where our students go for higher education so my topic is that the development of persian language literature and culture a study with special reference to assam indian indian languages are mainly belongs to two major families the indo european language and dravidian language family the indo european language family is a major language family in south asia indo iranian language family comes from the indo european language family persian or farsi is the language of indo iranian family it is the official language of iran and many people use the language in other countries like afghanistan tajikistan uzbekistan iraq it has an unforgettable impact on the indian subcontinent during the mughal period in terms of language literature culture education and economy such as russia and azerbaijan the following discussion will review and describe the development of persian language literature and culture a study with special reference to assam from from various aspects the development of persian language in assam can be summarized by the following points since mughal empire persian language is prevailed in india bangladesh pakistan afghanistan tajikistan turkistan and other states assam is an integral part of india so assam is not exception to it once a type persian was the official language of india since british period persian language has much relevance in india and particularly in assam yet there are many words we use in our mother languages or national language or english language 
even when languages also which are derived from Persian language, for example, Adalar, Munsef Kot, Hodkushi, Ofish, etc. Rabindranath Tagore is known as world famous poet. He was a Bengali. He worked in Bengali language and later he was awarded Nobel Prize. Similarly, Dr. Muhammad Iqbal was an Indian writer and poet who worked in Persian language significantly but he was not given due importance. That is why he worked remind as usual and the existing community is not getting encouragement mainly in Assam. We are lacking Persian poets and writers. It is due to not paying attention by the academic institutions of Assam and the government of Assam as well as the government of India. Hence, the authorities of Guwahati University and Assam University Shilchar might extend the scope of research works in the taking help from various departments of, of government of Assam and the government of the Indian. Persian language has much relevance in our country, especially in Assam. One famous Assamese poet, Jyotindranath Devra, translated and published the Rubaiyat of Amar Khayyam by name Amar Tirta. At present, we need such Jyotindranath Devras from our young generation to work in Persian language. Magnetic advices we find in Persian language for moral development of each and every person of the world. Such type of advices we do not find in other subjects, rather encourages narcotic drugs, wine, etc. for increasing national income of a country. At present, we are living in India, especially in Assam, where we find demoralization in our society, our economy, our culture, etc. In these circumstances, Persian language it will help us morally develop. The whole discussion regarding development of Persian language, literature and culture, a study with special reference to Assam. Language, art and culture has not been restricted in a specific boundary. Persian was the native language of India. Later on, it was introduced and developed in India. If we look at the history of Persian studies, in India, we can see the vital role of the Persian on the language, literature, art and culture of Indian subcontinent. Persian language is known by regional names such as Farsi in India, Dori in Afghanistan and Tuzuki in Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Persian and Sanskrit were two main languages which was used by both Hindus and Muslims before 1832. Persian was used as a language of culture and education in several Muslim courts in India. Till early 19th century AD, Muslims of Assam, mainly of the Borak Valley, are the only mediators of introducing Persian culture, language and Persian influence of this province. The rule of Persian language is quite significant to preserve the glorious past of India. It is necessary for the people and government come forward and promote to the Persian studies. Several suggestions have been discussed earlier for its advancement of Persian studies. We have to work for the development of Persian studies and will expect such type of suggestions for the future researchers. Thank you very much. Thanks to all.